Phil Manning. How are you doing, Phil? Excellent, Lee. Welcome to Night Moves. Thanks, mate. And congratulations on the new band, too. Thank you. Let's uh, go right back to the beginning of this entire thing, right? Uh, what started out to be the, the Manning Keys project. How, right, how yeah. did it sort of come together? Well, it came together because Jim and I were writing a lot together and uh, gradually developed along those lines till we, we got, got a, a recording deal. And as things progressed... Uh, uh, we decided that it would that, uh, be better served if, if it went again just ahead as, a, uh, as my own project, yeah. as a Manning project. What, what's Jim doing now? Uh, well, I don't know exactly what he's doing. I haven't spoken to him. I spoke to him a couple of days ago. But uh, he's hanging out, I believe, on a couple of TV things that I don't know much about, but right. um, just waiting on those at the moment. Okay. Well, look, the, uh, the single is out now, uh, one of the end results of the entire recording thing, but there are a couple of things about the recording of the album which will be mm. out soon and the single uh, I'd like to talk about one is your choice of producer is a rather interesting guy could you tell us a bit about him well uh, I, I don't know a great deal about him except for my own personal experience with him and what he's done in the past which he he did uh, the Genesis Foxtrot album yeah and uh, produced uh, Caravan and, and Camel in England and uh his name's David Hitchcock, and he gets back here on Tuesday, actually. Yeah. And he's got uh, quite a superb ear for sounds. And Bro brought some rather sophisticated equipment out with him as well. Yeah, well, uh, what... Are they showing that... Um, uh, well, actually, if we can get a shot of it... We've get got, a shot of this... We've got a photo here of the uh, binaural system, which was used... Uh, if I can hold it, still enough here. There we go. That headphone arrangement there, if you could explain exactly yeah. what that's about. Well, that one there is actually uh, uh, a fairly... This is a little plug for the company, I guess. I don't know much about them. That's a JVC head, which is uh, put out commercially uh, by, I don't know who, but that's distributed here, which is just a foam head with a pair of earphones with microphones in the earphones and it acts like an ear. But the system that uh, David uh, brought out towards the end of the recording was uh, one that he designed in, uh, and worked with in Germany, uh, which well, is a plastic head. Yeah. The idea being that you've got cavities in the head that's similar to the cavities in a human head. Yeah. And so you get the same resonances. And it's got actually got microphones in a properly designed ear shape. So it records the sound as the human as ear the human, would normally hear Right. Hear as it. you'd hear, a, if you went along and put one of these up in front of a band, yeah. you'd probably, you should at any rate, get the sound as you hear it. It's a synthesised human head. Right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Excellent. So uh, we use that. On, on some of the tracks, you know. Uh, it was quite good. Good effect with it? Excellent. Yeah. Tell us about the band as well. Well, I don't know. It's pretty hard to say. Everything's going fantastic. We've got uh, three excellent musicians. Peter Cutter, he's the bass player, and uh, he sings as well. And uh, he's uh, from New Zealand. He's actually the guy that filled in for Greg McCainch in New Zealand when uh, Greg was he sick. Was sick. Yeah. Uh, we've got uh, John Grant on keyboards. Uh, he, he worked with Freeway and Palais and a, a young drummer, he's only about 20, who's quite phenomenal, his name's Robert Ross. Yeah. And uh, things are going well, we've got excellent management. We've, it's, we've got actually, I've, I've found personally that I've had more support generally than any other time in my career. Yeah, the, the, from the management, from the record company. We got an excellent clothes deal with uh, Staggers. Yes, I, I noticed yeah, you've got something yeah, happening there. Just, just, <laughs> yes. the so I could stagger around in Staggers. <laughs> right, why That's not? Right. The album, when's that going to be released? The single's out already. Uh, the album, well, we're starting uh, towards the end of next week. Yeah. We're about halfway through it, starting towards the end of next week. We're, uh, we'll are we be recording the rest of it and finishing the tr some of the tracks that we've already got partially recorded. I was under the impression it was completed. Oh, no, no, yeah. no. We've got quite a lot more to do on it. We're yeah. Putting everything into it, I, I think you'd say. Well, and it'll be out about February. Yeah. Oh, February next... Yeah, mm -hmm. right. The the single that's out is uh, the old Percy uh, Sledgehead, When a Man Loves a Woman. Yeah, What right. made you choose that? Well, I was just... I, I, I can't really... I did piano when I was a kid, but I can't really play it anymore, but I can thump out a few chords, yeah. and that's one of the songs I can play, and I've loved that song for years, and I was just sitting in the studio one night playing the piano and and just singing it, and David walked in and said, oh, that sounds great, why yeah. don't you do it? So we, we learned it and, and just ran it through three or four times, put it down, went home, came back the next day and said, oh, it sounds OK, let's keep it. Yeah. Whacked down some vocals, a bit of lead guitar, and, you know, and, and that was sort of it. We're, actually, we were doing a different mix on the album to yeah. the single, because it was all very, it was all quite rushed, but everyone just loved it so much. Well, that the we singles put it out. out, yeah, and uh, it's getting a bit of support uh, from a few of the radio stations. It started to be picked up. And yeah, the clips we, out too. 
Yeah. Uh, and maybe right now we should have a look at it, huh? Oh, I'd love to. Okay, yeah. Phil, thanks very much for coming in tonight. Thanks, mate. Here's uh, Manning, the name of the band, and When a Man Loves a Woman. to be